sorry, just got out of work. Today is beautiful. It's like 65 degrees, the sun's out. It was supposed to be a lot more gloomy today, a little rainy, but we didn't get much rain at all. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday. Today's actually a day I get a chance to work from home. I only work from home two days out of the week, which is a bummer really don't like going in three times a week. I think it's too much personally. But anyways, it's a lot colder today. I do like the lighting. The ambience in the apartment today is really chill and it's perfect for when I'm making videos, especially the white balance and it's not too yellow because the sun's not coming through the windows. It's just pretty gray outside. I can't believe that the temperature went from 65 degrees yesterday. And of course that was a day I was in office to 35 degrees today. It's just crazy that the temperature dropped 30 degrees in one day. It's pretty gloomy out, so I wanted to add a pop of color to the environment. So I turned on my Apollo lighting system, these LED light strips that I attach to the back of my monitor. I actually fasted way longer than I thought I would. Going on 14 hours for this fast. My fast is about to end because I need to eat. I'm gonna have a protein shake, some over easy eggs, and some oatmeal. They give me discipline, and I try not to eat too late at night, which is like a big problem that I have is I eat way too late. But the earlier I eat at night, the earlier I can eat during the day. It's safe to say that my eggs didn't come out as planned, but you know what? I'm eating them for gains, not for aesthetic purposes. It is a beautiful day today. Um, it's funny because earlier in the morning it was really snowy and it was pretty cold, but now it's like warming up. So it's like 40s and the sun's out. It feels so nice. Like I really thought today was just like a chill in a house day, but it is a perfect like go out take a walk, go grab some coffee, and just be active outside. I just dropped a couple pants off at the seamstress. I never take my clothes to the cleaners, but now that I live in an area where I have pretty much everything I need within like a mile, not even, like a couple blocks, I figured I'd start taking better care of my clothes, but I had a couple rips in these Kith cargo pants and then my Lululemon Surge jogger, which are like my favorite pants. So I don't know why it took me so long to do this. So I'm actually going to go to Amy Leon Dory. I was going to drive, but it's quicker to just take the transit. I found this nice parking spot here in Hoboken where I can park near the PATH train and then I can go straight to New York and not have to worry about parking or crazy traffic. What is up everyone today is saturday 
I actually got a really nice workout in. I played a little bit of basketball. I did the Stairmaster. Then I did a few exercises on a couple of the leg machines. But today is exciting because Io, Liana and I's friend from college invited us to a Foot Locker event where they're celebrating Black History Month with this art gallery called The Soulist. I actually stopped drinking coffee for like a week. I was literally drinking like decaffeinated caramel macchiatos from uh, Gregory's Coffee. So shout out to them for having that drink. And it tasted just like regular coffee. But the reason being is my eye was switching um, for like a month and it definitely has settled down i'm way more relaxed i think it's just a build up of anxiety and stress um since moving here i'm very happy being here but i will say i've been pretty stressed out just because um getting used to the hustle and bustle here the traffic catching the transit and also i think a big part of it the main part of it is my time management and being on social media so since i started pushing out more content on TikTok and instagram of course i've been consuming more content so i can know what the trends are so i can make relevant content so i wake up in the morning check my tiktok check my instagram scrolling for hours just to get inspiration for what type of video i should post but the problem is is that it's hurting other parts of my life one i don't feel relaxed like i don't have dedicated time after work where i just sit relax maybe read my word do some prayer or just stretch. <laughs> My other issue of time management is working out. Since I play basketball and I lift at the same time, I'm usually gone for like three hours after work, which means I don't usually get home till like eight and sometimes nine o'clock. So then I'm like exhausted. So we make dinner and I'm eating at 10, 30, 11 p.m. I don't have time to work on side projects. Like I want to start contributing to open source. Link down below the open source guide that my senior developer has me reading through. He really is emphasizing open source for this year, which I think is really important because it encourages collaboration, which leads to innovation. So still thinking through how to balance my nine to five. I have this really cool project that I wanna work on. You know a project is a good idea when you thought of it by thinking of a problem that you need to solve for yourself and then realizing that a bunch of other people need that problem solved as well. And I think the influencer marketing world and community is so new right now. There's so many resources and tools that don't exist. And I feel like I can feel one of those voids that can build better transparency and also make it easier for content creators to uh, work with brands by automating some of their like administrative work. And I wanna build this tool with React. I just wanna thank you all for all the engagement you all gave me in my last vlog. I'm definitely gonna make more vlog type of content. I didn't mention this in the last video, but it was in the title. My vlog series is gonna be called Software Engineering Diaries, and it will be for the foreseeable future. I think that title is really catchy, and I also think that title really represents what I'm creating. I wanna make this more laid back content where people can get a glimpse of what it's like working in the tech industry. So by no means are these vlogs for just people who wanna become software engineers. These videos are really for anyone interested in vlogs. I want to see what it's like working in the tech industry in a more casual way. And I'll definitely drop some nuggets of information like things that I'm working on, tech, that I like to use tools that I like to use and resources. I'll still add that into these videos and of course have the more searchable content as well. But I'm really excited about this vlog series, especially living in New York. I feel like this is a great way for me to combine the tech and lifestyle type of content with living in New York City because it's such an incredible place. All right, so that concludes this video. I'm just really grateful for you all and I'm really excited about this new vlog series. I plan on releasing these videos once a week. Also, they really keep me accountable for learning new things so I can talk about new things. If I'm not learning anything, then what can I talk about outside of like my own job? Give this video a thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate it. Also consider subscribing for more content like this and just to join this amazing community. Comment down below something you want to learn for 2022 or maybe become an expert in or pursue. I think it's important to embrace being a life learner. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. I will see you all soon. Peace.